First, I'd like to thank everybody for their support on my videos lately and helping me surpass 15,000 subscribers. I didn't make a special video for it because I didn't have any ideas for that kind of video and I don't really need my ego stroked from the comments, but you could certainly do it if you want to. <laughs> also, I uploaded the third crew cast over on the crew channel where we talk about Advanced Warfare, Battlefield, Hardline, and Windows 10, so go check it out. Link will be in the description and subscribe to that channel. It's kind of a variety gaming channel where me and my buddies in my crew will upload to it uh, at random different points. So if you want to see games other than FPS games, that's the place to be. So, now is the part where I get all serious and shit. Believe it or not, George isn't at home. No, I'm just kidding. Believe it or not, I go back from time to time and watch some of my old videos. And I'm happy with the way they've turned out for the most part. There is one thing that kind of bothers me, and I know it bothers some people out there, and it's how I project myself on the mic. I come off as like vociferous and arrogant and over the top, which is something that I thought had set me apart from everybody else. But... The other day, my wife was talking to me about how weird I am when I'm doing my YouTube videos because I kind of morph into a different person. I noticed it too after she said it and I decided that I need to tone down this character that I play. I do kind of sound like I'm hidden somewhere in a cave, which is pretty much the case as I do my commentaries in my man cave with the door shut so that my neighbors don't hear me. I mean, why should I be embarrassed about my hobby? I shouldn't need an oxygen mask after I do a commentary. I thought that being that way would make people excited to watch my videos, but at the same time, I don't want to annoy people when I speak to them. I don't want to turn people off that would subscribe to my channel that they are like yo this guy is annoying as fuck because you know obviously I do YouTube I'd like to grow my channel at some point this is why I'm deciding to mellow out just a little bit during my commentaries my shoutcast videos take me a long time to make usually like you know a couple hours believe it or not because I don't do everything on the first take and nobody on YouTube really gives a fuck about gameplays anymore I find that more and more people want to hear my opinions about things, so I think to prove people wrong about me being a moron, I'm going to start doing more of a laid-back, Sunday chill type commentary where I share my experience and knowledge. I mean, I'm 31 years old, a grown-ass man. Should I still be yelling at video games? I should be doing something more productive with my content on YouTube to help influence thoughts and lives of my subscribers since I have a lot of experience and stories to share. I know most of you guys love my rage and my parody videos. They do the best on my channel in terms of likes and views, so of course, I'm not going to stop doing them. You know, I still have plenty of rage clips, but they do take a long time to do. It takes me about like 12 to 15 hours to make a rage video because I have to go back and watch my live streams and there's no easy way to shortcut that, right? So... They take a while, and I can't produce them at the rate that you guys want to, but I can do them, you know, every once in a while, maybe every other week or something like that. Uh, I'm not going to have, like, new rage clips made going forward on my stream unless it just, you know, kind of happens naturally. When I play, I do rage at video games, but I'm trying this new thing where I don't get so invested in games that I want to play for fun, because at the end of the day, gaming is supposed to be for fun, right? And as for my parody videos... I've just got to start making them a little bit better. Even my buddy Carlos Valdosta said that my parody video wasn't that great, so i got to step my game up. I certainly don't want to get Lorena bobbited for making those videos. Bottom line is, I'm going to keep producing great content, but I'm just not going to raise my voice as much as I used to. So, for example, Unsolved Mysteries is a great series that doesn't require my voice to get sore as shit. I'll still be comical, sarcastic, and insightful, but... You know, I want to do more things here on YouTube. I also want to start going to the gym and make myself a better person by not purposely raising my blood pressure just to make a five-minute video. So, I hope you guys understand and will support me. Thank you guys for all the interaction that you've had. And this change will start today.